Education Minister Peter Dutton has lashed back at claims from former PM Kevin Rudd that detention centres on Manus Island and Nauru were only meant to be a short-term fix. Joining me now from Canberra is our Sky News political reporter Sam Maiden. Sam, we haven't spoken for a little while. Good to talk to you. Peter Dutton's fired back because Kevin Rudd's kidding himself. That's probably the simplest way to sum it up, isn't it? Well, this is probably the best thing that's happened to Peter Dutton all day, having Kevin Rudd on the radio saying that Labor would have brought these refugees to Australia. I mean, that is an absolute political gift. It's not what Kevin Rudd said at the time, of course. There was no. ads at the time where he said that these people would never be resettled in Australia. So no surprise that Peter Dutton was jumping all over these comments. This is what he had to say on Sky News a short time ago. Kevin Rudd had a situation of his own making, he undid, Kevin, uh, he undid John Howard's policies and through his own actions, Kevin Rudd and many of the people who were in his cabinet, who consented to this deal, who now sit on the front bench of Bill Shorten's, uh, of his ministry, those people made the decision to put people on Manus Island and to keep them there. And the thought that they were going to be there for 12 months is a complete and utter nonsense. It's a fabrication, it's misleading, it's deceptive. Now, we spoke to Labor's Richard Miles, who, of course, was uh, very involved in those negotiations. He's got a long-standing relationship with PNG. He wouldn't really answer the question of what Labor would have done at the time, other than to say that they would have put more effort into resettling these people. But when asked what would you do for the people that you couldn't resettle, he wouldn't really explain that. He did say, however, in the end, that if a Labor government was elected, which of course the polls suggest they would be, what would you do, do with those people that are left languishing on Manus right now, who won't be picked up by that US deal. He's now saying they won't be brought to Australia. This is what he had to say. I can tell you what was going on then and what the policy of the Labor Party is now and what needs to happen. And the failure of this government is about finding resettlement options elsewhere in the world for those people. OK, but if you were elected tomorrow and the polls currently suggest you would, you would have to clean up that problem. What would Labor do? Would you bring those we would people from Manus that have languished there for four years, would you bring them to Australia? It is, it, the answer to that question is no. It is absolutely critical that Australia be off the table.